Once logged in to the ILTA website, you will have access to the member dashboard. To get to the member dashboard, click Get Involved, and you'll see this appear as your first option. The member dashboard is a great one-stop shop to help you access various curated resources. The first curated resource you might consider opting into is ILTA Smart Brief Newsletter. And what this is, is a curated emailed newsletter delivered to your inbox three times a week. It's a great way to stay informed with what's happening in legal. Each newsletter is broken up by top story in the various different areas of legal technology. News is gathered from across the web from various news sources. Another really great resource that you can find on the member dashboard are the ILTA content briefings. ILTA content briefings are curated for you on a quarterly basis. You'll automatically see the most recent content briefing in the upper left-hand corner of the web page. Once you click on the content briefing, it'll take you to a web page where you can download the content briefing. Content briefings are a clickable PDF organized by subject matter for content developed by ILTA volunteers. When you click on the different subjects, it'll take you to the page with the content listed here. Each piece of content is clickable and will take you directly to the content developed by ILTA within the quarter identified within the document. In 2021, we rebranded the content briefings to be organized by subject matter or area of focus. Prior to 2021, the content briefing were organized by type of content and also clickable. When you click on a piece of content, it'll take you directly to the item within the content briefing. Here's an example of a blog included in the year-end 2020 content briefing. When you click on the webinars from the content briefing, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. From here, you can watch the content on demand on your own time. Within our library, we also upload associated documents that speakers may provide for those webinars. Each webinar is recorded live. In order to participate in a live webinar, I encourage you to check out all upcoming events. You can access this page by going to the Live Events tab at the top of the ILTA webpage and clicking on your first option, All Upcoming Events. It'll take you to a page that looks like this where you can see the various different types of events that ILTA offers. As you can see, we have events occurring on a regular basis in the varying categories from product briefings, webinars, master classes, to virtual roundtables. This is a really great way to stay informed of what's happening within the legal landscape. As an ILTA member, you may register for these events for no additional charge. Another really great resource is the ILTA publication. To get to the ILTA publications, you can click on the resources tab at the top of the screen. And again, your first option is publications and surveys. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. Two of the publications I'd like to take a moment to point out are our Peer to Peer Magazine and our Digital White Papers. When you click on Browse Past Issues, Peer to Peer Magazine will take you to all of the past issues ILTA has produced. Peer to Peer Magazine is an online publication produced on a quarterly basis. Oftentimes, in the summer of each year, you may have an abundance of article submissions from ILTA members, business partners, and participants. When this happens, you'll see the summer issue broken up into two parts. Here's an example of the summer 2021 part two issue. What you'll see is that this is a clickable PDF with a table of contents that you can click on. Each of these articles is written by someone working in the legal technology field. If you would like to contribute to ILTA publications, highly recommend that you consider authoring for ILTA. This is a really great way to share your knowledge and expertise. From the publications page, another highly sought after ILTA resource is our digital white papers. When you click on the browse past issues, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. From here, you can also see that ILTA produces white papers focused specifically on different areas of legal. An example of the white papers might look similar to the peer-to-peer -peer magazine, where you'll see a clickable table of contents that will take you directly to the article written by members of the ILTA community. The last two resources I'd like to share are the ILTA online communities, often known as the e-groups. In order to get to the ILTA online communities, once again, you'd click the resources tab at the top of the web page and select the third option. Option down. Each online community is focused on a specific area of legal. While browsing the online communities, you can see how many members are opted into each online community. When you click an online community, you'll be taken to the community homepage, where you'll see a number of tabs at the top of the screen. The community homepage will show you the latest discussions, as well as the latest files shared by other ILTA members. Within the online community home, you can see how many discussions have occurred 
associated files that might be uploaded by ILTA or other ILTA members, as well as blogs and the number of members that are opted into the online communities. The last thing I'd like to point out is the ILTA Brand Hub. This was a new development brought to ILTA community members in early 2021. It's a really great way to share ILTA with your peers. In the ILTA Brand Hub, you have access to various ILTA assets and event assets. From here, you can download our flyers and ILTA graphics or access the various resources to help you make the most of your ILTA membership. And if you have any questions, you can always contact the ILTA staff at membership at iltanet.org.